meal prep tips and how to structure your meals. So how to view food. So you need to look at food as a source of energy. It's going to make you feel better. And, you know, it can even change the complexion of your skin and health. So if we start looking at food as fuel, how it's going to help you grow, repair and recover, how it's going to help you perform in the gym and most importantly, how is it going to make you feel afterwards? So this next bit, the cleaner you eat, the better you will feel. So eating tons of processed food will only make you feel like shit. You'll feel lethargic, drained, or you'll have no energy, especially when your body's trying to digest and process this type of food. So it is true. Remember, you are what you eat. So when I say this, when your food is being digested in your pancreas, that's when it's broken down into small particles and that's how it slips into your bloodstream. And then, you know, if you're eating plenty of protein, it goes through your blood into your muscles. So if you're eating donuts, really crap and shit food, uh, loads of sweets, loads of crisps, that's going to be delivered throughout your body. So no wonder your energy levels, your mood, you're feeling lethargic. No wonder that is how you feel. So, or we can look at eating clean, unprocessed. Let me just move this. Uh, eating clean, unprocessed foods. So that's meats, veg, and fruit. You'll see your energy levels rise, your mood will increase and get better and performance and performance will change dramatically just from making these small adaptations. So let's look at food in a totally different way to what we may have done before. So the base of your meals needs to be around protein. So every meal that you make, we need to base it around protein because this is the macro that's going to help you grow muscle. Uh, it's going to help you repair your muscles after training and maintain muscle over any period of time. So it's a good tool to help you keep satiated. So fuller for longer, especially in that calorie deficit. Um, with the meal um, that you're making, I would aim for a handful size of chicken, uh, beef mince or turkey mince, just say, for example, this is your meat. Uh, and the general rule of thumb is, let's say it's chicken, for instance, I'll weigh it out and it'll be around about 180 grams to 220 grams of chicken. Now, you can play around with that. But for example, the numbers that are associated with that, if you had 200 grams of chicken in your meal, you're going to get 43.6 grams of protein there. So 180 grams of 5% beef means you're going to get 55 Point eight grams of protein and the last one which is probably probably the best 200 grams of turkey mince which is low in fat as well you get 64 grams of protein so in one meal right there we're going to move on to veg anyway after but 64 grams of protein in one single meal just say you had two of them a day you know you're looking at 100 128 grams of protein by just two meals and then, you know, you've got your other meals as well. So, you know, this is where you can add in veg and it'll also still keep the calories low. So this is why when we opt for a low calorie, high protein meal, this is what we're aiming for. So look at these numbers and you'll be able to put something together yourself as well. So make sure you're tracking everything. So literally to the gram. Remember, you can add whatever seasoning, sauces, any condiments that you like as well. So moving on to vegetables. And, um, you know, vegetables carry very low calories. And this is um, why we can fill our plate with them, basically. You're going to get all the nutrients in a variety of veg. So I've gone with, you know, tender stem broccoli, uh, that is a normal broccoli, but I couldn't find the image. <laughs> you've got green beans and then you've got tomatoes. So we'll go through that in a bit. Um, so you can, for example, have diced chicken breast, just say 200 grams with tender stem broccoli and the calories are going to be very low. So this way you're keeping calories low and increasing protein. 
meal by meal to hit your daily target. So keep your meals very simple, but make sure that you're hitting your macros that you that I've set out to hit. Um, you can either add in as many vegetables as you like, but make sure that you track them and we'll be in control. So same again, for example, 100 grams of tender stem broccoli only carries 40 calories. So if you wanted to go crazy and get 200 grams of tender stem broccoli, it's only going to be 80 calories. So 120 grams of baby plum tomatoes, these right here. Um, that's quite a lot, 120 grams, 17 calories, so very low. 140 grams of green beans carries 43 calories. So you can literally fill your plate with these veg and any other, you know, baby sweet corn, courgettes, anything. And you're going to feel full. You're going to eat better. You're going to be able to eat more calories as well but you're going to feel amazing after. So same again, just make sure you track everything to the gram with any seasonings or salts that you want. Now, I would say this is quite important. This has helped me really get lean and stay in a good condition. So snack on fruit instead of sugary and heavy calorie products such as biscuits, crisps, cakes, sweets, chocolate, etc. The you know The numbers that are associated with it in terms of sugar, in terms of the calories, they're just not uh, productive uh, for your body and for progression. So by snacking on fruit, you'll be helping your digestion system. It carries a load of antioxidants to fight diseases. It reduces inflammation, helps the way that you perform, your mood increases, and even helps with your skin complexion. So make this small alteration and things will change. Fruit is amazing. Um, you know, if you prepare it, you can eat plenty of it throughout the day. If you work in an office, if you work from home and you just want to make it all there and then. So the numbers again, 120 grams of pineapple carries 60 calories. 140 grams of apple, which is basically one apple, carries 52 calories. And 120 grams of watermelon carries 43 calories. So, you know, just, you know, just by snacking on fruit alone throughout the day, you're helping your body in all kinds of ways. Uh, but you are making sure that it's a healthy and positive snack that you're having. So instead of those sweets, it's not really helping you at all. And, um, you know, it's going to affect your insulin levels, whereas fruit is going to keep it stable um, and so on. So yeah, make sure you track everything. So the truth, sometimes we all need a little bit of the truth. Let me move that there. So yeah, Throughout your whole process in changing your physique, your diet amounts to 70% of those adaptations. So if you apply yourself and eat good quality animal meats and good sourced veg over a consistent period of time, you will see changes. You just have to make the effort to prepare the food, buy the food and control the portions that you eat. So for example, if you go out three to four times a week and don't don't be surprised if you are not seeing changes. You've got to make sacrifices to then enjoy those special events and re remove essentially the yo-yo progress of eating and training well and then dropping off. So yeah, a little bit of home truths there. And the final little bit, the, the tips really that I want you to take on board. So Add a dash of pink Himalayan salt with every meal and even your gym drink. This will help nutrient transport when macronutrients and micronutrients are being digested from your food and transported to your muscles. But not only that, it will help increase your gym performance by helping your muscle fiber signalings and firing them up. So yeah, very important. So every meal that you add, have, uh, add some pink Himalayan salt. So make sure you track the ingredients with every meal. So the condiments, the sauces, the grams of meat, veg and fruit, because it all adds up in some way and we want to be as precise as possible. Uh, so yeah, being on top of what's going in your body will help you um, through which whatever process you're going through. So if it's a fat loss, lean cut or bulk. So the next one, 
if we don't track, this is where the balance can tip and we end up overeating, which will cause us to gain weight without even knowing. So you need to track. I always think that if you know what's going inside your body, you understand, right, I've overindulged today or I haven't eaten enough as well. So instead of having, this is quite a common one, actually, instead of just having two big meals in the day, look at organizing yourself and preparing four to five meals, but regular meals throughout the day. So one digestion is going to be really good here. And it's key for your body to absorb the macronutrients, your proteins, your carbs, your fats, but also to feel fuller and feel like you're eating more throughout the whole day. So make this shift in your mindset and watch how things change from there. So when you eat meals that, um, and don't, well, sorry, when you eat meals, don't eat until you're bursting or feel physically sick. Make sure you've always left around 25% room in your stomach so your body can digest efficiently. You want to always think, I could eat more, but I won't. This is quite, you know, this is how a lot of people just eat and eat and eat and eat. Just, you know, just say for Christmas dinner where you feel physically sick, that's not where we want to be. You always want to leave around about 25% room in your stomach. So this is going to help your digestion um, and help it, you know, digest properly. You won't feel disgusting and you'll actually fuel yourself up correctly before the gym as well. So, yeah, that's quite a big one. Um, make sure every meal is based around protein. This is absolutely a non-negotiable, really. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever these little snacks may be as well, apart from fruit, make sure it's got protein in. And then, yeah, the last one, snack on fruit instead of sugary products. So I hope you've enjoyed this slide. Just gives you an insight into how to really, you know, manage your meals, look at the numbers associated with them and make that mind shift into feeling better and performing better by the way that we actually eat and prepare food.